Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the lookup activity in ADF. So uh, once we learn how to use the lookup activity, these are the scenarios what we are going to perform. Uh, how to delete different files from different uh, containers from blob storage in ADF. Uh, and we will use some help uh, from the lookup activity. Because uh, we would like to make this uh, dynamic, uh, we would like to maybe include some uh, uh, containers, maybe exclude some container, maybe criteria to delete the files we would like to change as well so we will create some control file first and then we'll add some entries in that and that will be read by the lookup and finally we will delete the the file according to the criteria we have defined in that control file so let's go ahead and take a look on the definition of, of lookup first lookup activity can retrieve a data set from an Azure Data Factory supported data sources. So there are tons of sources from which a lookup activity can retrieve the data, such as SQL, Blob, you know, Natiza, MariaDB, or whatever the databases. And there are tons of the file system from which it can read the data. You can use it to dynamically determine which objects to operate in a subsequent uh, activity. That's what I was talking about. Like we will have a control file in which we will add some records for the containers and the criteria. And once we read by using the lookup, and then we'll use further maybe in, uh, by using a uh, um, for each loop and uh, delete activity. Okay. So instead of hard coding the object name, some objects examples are files and tables. So you don't have to hard code them, so you can uh, change them. Let's say if I would like to change my control file in which I would like to add new container names, uh, maybe uh, change the criteria, so I can just simply change in the control file and then uh, the next uh, activities will be able to read that information and uh, work accordingly. Look at lookup activity read and returns the content of a configuration file or a table. It also returns the results of executing a query or a store procedure. The output can be singleton value, so it can be only one value or array of attributes uh, which can be consumed in a subsequent uh, copy transformation or control for such as the for each loop activity. Okay, so uh, these are the supported uh, uh, different uh, sources. So you can see Azure Blob Storage, Cosmos DB, Azure Data Explorer, and tons of them in the databases. You can have the list of the databases, so you can read uh, from any of these databases. And then uh, you have NoSQL uh, and the file system like FTP, Amazon S3, Couchbase, uh, guess, uh, sorry, um, Amazon S3, Couchbase comes in the NoSQL database. So anyways, uh, these are all uh, different type of uh, sources available. And uh, here is uh, like if any connector mark as a preview means that uh, you can try it out and give it a feedback if you want to make take a dependency on a preview connection in your uh, resolution please contact uh, microsoft azure so anyways uh, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, start working on it and uh, instead of uh, we spend a lot of time just reading through it so maximum rows 5000 can be read this file size 4 mb and this is a valid uh, activity for 24 hours so longest duration for lookup activity before timeout you know that's a 24 hours so you can read the entire uh, details about the lookup and i'm going to perform some demo so oh, demo probably make more sense now here in the um, my portal i have different containers this is my blob storage and in the blob storage i have containers in the containers i have input containers Container that has some files these are all files sitting there and then I have an output folder that has also some files and then we have a logs folder and there are the same these are actually the same files then what I have there I want to create a control file that maybe I would like to delete the .txt files from the log folder maybe in the input folder i will uh, like to only delete dot csv files or dot xls files so i can change all those criteria and in the logs folder maybe i would like to delete everything now uh, depends on the criteria you can uh, you know we are going to build our control file so i'm going to go to the adf folder here and uh, there, that's where the delete master file is sitting there so what i'm going to do i have a folder name that's my first uh, column. Second uh, is a wild card uh, that I will use in the delete activity uh, transformation. Now, uh, this is input folder, okay? And uh, I would like to, let's say, delete uh, uh, anything that has a txt. So that's my criteria. And uh, from the output, I would like to delete uh, uh, wherever any CSV file sitting there. And logs, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything. 
okay so this is our control file now we save this and uh, we are going to go back to our uh, portal and here right there i'm going to go to the my logs and that's where i have put the my delete master file so i'm going to go upload this uh, file overwrite on the existing one uh, right there so yes overwrite upload now i can view my file i'm going to go edit and see right there so i have uh, i want to delete uh, any uh, files with the dot uh, text uh, dot txt extension from the input uh, folder from output any files that has csv file and logs everything so, so these are the three uh, containers i would like to do some operation if tomorrow i want to change my mind and i want to do on others i can keep adding this criteria so i can remove the record from this file or add the record and uh, our pipeline will work according to the delete master file okay so we are going to go ahead and now we are going to create a, a pipeline go uh, in the azure data factory click plus sign pipeline and uh, we can say we can give some name uh, pl lookup delete files now very first activity we need is a lookup so I'm going to search for lookup here and then in the lookup, uh, let me give the name get uh, file list okay, or a container list, whatever. Actually, these are a container. Okay, so we have this uh, lookup uh, activity here and uh, what we need to do, we need to configure, go to settings and here you're going to click on the new data source set. Once you do that, it's going to be blob, right? So in the blob, you're going to hit continue, okay, CSV file, fine, and then a linked service. I already have created a linked service. You can create a new linked service, but let's go ahead and create a new linked service so you would know that. Select your subscription and your storage account, and that's all you need. You can always call it whatever username you want to give. So I'm going to leave with this Azure blob too. Okay, so if you see that uh, this is a linked service to the main storage, this is not to the container level. So linked service is only pointing to the our main storage, and uh, hit create. Now it is created, and now I'm gonna browse to the file. So go to my log. That's where my delete master file is sitting. Double click on that one, and here is my delete master. So I selected that. So you see that uh, that's our container path. We don't have subdirectories here, and that's my file. Okay, first row has header, yes, and um, import scheme, I don't care about that. I'm going to select to no, no, hit OK. Now, we are ready with our lookup, and one more thing, you want to take care of it. Here, see, first row only. If you want to read only first row, that's what you need to check. But in my case, I would like to read the entire file and use that. So I'm going to uncheck that one. now. Okay, we will do some demo on first row only as well. Now, go ahead, debug, and uh, you are going to see some values. Let's see what we see. Uh, this is completed, and uh, let's click on the output, and we should see. Okay, so there are three counts, so that it is read, and uh, in the values, you can see that input folder. Remember that folder name, and then we have wildcard. There are two columns. So the first one is input, and the criteria is wildcard is an asterisk.txt, then second. So these are the items that we are going to use that so we are going to use folder name and wildcard and uh, these are three counts are there so this this is all we need okay so uh, you can uh, close this one bring the for each loop and for from the for each loop what we are going to do because we have these uh, three uh, values or list uh, of values come in and we have to loop through so go to settings of the for each loop uh, and uh, here you can do sequential or you can do parallel. I'm going to go with sequential, doesn't really matter here. And uh, in the items, uh, so see, uh, lookup uh, got the list of the items for us. So, so we have to provide that list of the items uh, to the for each. Uh, here I'm going to cl uh, click on add dynamic content and uh, right here that's our lookup activity. So I'm going to click on that lookup activity and uh, that's output. Now, here we have um, options, such as if we want to just read the first row uh, we, or just want to read the uh, count. So we have all those possibilities. I'm going to click, uh, uh, I'm going to say value because I want to read the entire list because uh, I need uh, different uh, in container names and wildcard. So I re I, this has three records according to our file and I would like to read all of them. So in my case, it's going to return me this. 
because I said dot value. So hit finish and uh, that was easy and quick. Now we are gonna go inside that for each loop, click on this pencil sign here. And now we need a delete activity. In the delete activity, what we can do, we need to delete some files, right? According to the criteria and the container names. Now we are gonna go to the source here and in the source, we are gonna select a data set, create new data set. And I'm gonna call it blob storage. And uh, here uh, you can select the same uh, linked service because that's uh, pointing to the same uh, storage. And uh, uh, linked service is not pointing to container level. So you don't need to worry about that. So just select uh, the uh, 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 this linked service that's pointing to your storage. So here, that's where you need to provide the file path, directory, contain, and the file name and all that. So I'm going to hit this uh, OK. So see right there? Please note that you are not specifying folder path and file name in the binary too. All the files under the root folder will be deleted. Okay, so I don't want to do that. I want to actually uh, delete specific files from this uh, specific uh, container. So I'm going to go back to the open again for this uh, uh, data source. And here is uh, my link service. And uh, then I don't have anything defined here. So I'm going to go to the parameter and create a parameter because uh, I want to use this parameter container name okay so now what I'm saying I create this parameter and in the connection use that parameter so right here my container name comes in now we have created a parameter and we have told the, the uh, this uh, data set to use the parameter but there is no value we are passing to the container name uh, parameter that we have to pass from the for each right so we go back to our uh, look uh, pipeline and here is our delete activity and if you see that the container name appeared this parameter is no show, showing here so we have to pass this uh, values uh, to the container name parameter and i'm going to click on value and if you guys remember the value should be coming from the for each so uh, add the dynamic content and here is our for each so it says item as the for each got the values from the lookup and there are two columns come in so one is folder name and the other one is a wild card so in this case what we need we need a folder name so folder name and uh, i'm going to hit finish so now what's going to happen on this parameter container name is going to get the folder name or container name uh, that is a this one right so first time it is going to get input then output and then log so it will, as it will be keep looping it, the value of parameter will be changing now that's uh, that's how you will be able to read a column specific value from the uh, your list that you have provided to the uh, for each loop so hit ok or finish now that's all get good but remember that we have another criteria we have to define that in the uh, this criteria so wildcard right we don't want to delete everything so I'm gonna go back to here and uh, use the wildcard file path so I'm gonna click here and then then I'm gonna say wildcard file name and right here you have a dynamic content and click here and in the for each item remember that I, I have a column wildcard that's our lookup uh, got the folder name and wildcard columns and provided those to the uh, for each loop and uh, we are using them. So in the item, item dot wildcard. So it's going to get the wildcard column value for me. Okay. So hit finish and we are all set here. We don't have to do anything else. And one more thing, uh, uh, you are going to delete some files uh, and uh, how about logging? So we are going to go to login setting and here we are going to tell where to save that uh, log information. So I'm going to say, okay, save on the same blob storage. And uh, then in which folder you would like to save, I'm going to go to the browse and say, save to the my logs. Okay. So I can get subfolder if I want and all that, but I'm going to go and just write to the my log folder. So all the files which will be deleted, there would be files created to keep the log for them. Like these files has been deleted or something like that. So I'm going to show you guys anyways. So click on the debug and it's going to execute now. So notice that uh, uh, first of uh, our lookup got uh, there was a list of the files. So there are three counts. Uh, and uh, the input folder, output folder, and then you have a logs folder. And uh, then it, it passed those three values to the for each loop. See, three counts went to the 
for each and then uh, inside that uh, you see that uh, the delete activity executed three times uh, so first time uh, what it got uh, let's see the first time it got uh, the wildcard.txt and uh, then uh, now you have this uh, let's move on and you can see that uh, input folder okay so for the input folder it executed uh, you know um, the, this uh, delete activity then uh, for the second one uh, uh, it went to the logs folder okay so and the third time it went to the uh, output folder so uh, right there so you guys can see that uh, sorry uh, yeah so right there uh, let's see which uh, yeah this is a asterisk dot asterisk folder name folder path so you can see all that information there you know okay so it deleted all those files so let's uh, take a look on the folder side and the uh, criteria so in the master file remember that we wanted to remove everything that has dot txt extension from the input tub. so we are going to go back here go to the our uh, uh, let's say we go to the input folder and here you see that the, the all the txt files has been deleted now we go to the output folder and uh, according to the criteria we want to delete uh, csv files so you guys can see there is no csv files because that has been deleted now if i go to the uh, logs uh, folder so all the csv files has been uh, actually every file has been deleted because because our criteria was asterisk dot asterisk so everything is deleted now we go back to the my log and that's where the new log should be created and we can take a look so we can uh, see right there click here edit and uh, you see that this was uh, for the output folder and we would like to only delete the c.csv file so that has been uh, deleted now if we go to the next log so my log and uh, here is second log and uh, here you click uh, and uh, edit and now you see uh, this is a uh, actually this is some older log actually so that's not true so we have to find uh, there are my logs these are different folders and uh, I wish it can give me some time here but anyways uh, so I'm gonna go to the next one and uh, this is also old so let me see if that's at the end yeah these are all old so anyways uh, let's see yeah this is the one um, I just created now so I'm gonna go here and go to edit and you can see that uh, this is the one that has deleted all the files so uh, from the our uh, logs folder so you can see that it has deleted the CSV txt and everything so from here what you learn uh, you can how to use a lookup activity how to read uh, uh, the data from your uh, some CSV file or I have another video where I have read the data from the table and uh, perform the same type of operation so but here we use the control file and using the lookup activity you can read uh, multiple values and then uh, use them in the subsequent uh, different activities such as for each loop and uh, delete uh, uh, activity so thank you very much i hope this video will help uh, and please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video